Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, you've kind of heard by everything that can be said. Uh, my name is Justin Bamberg, um, one of the attorneys for the family, also a, a state representative here in South Carolina. Um, 20 years is a long time, and it's a long time to think about this. And during sentencing today, Rodney, Walter's brother, stood up in court and pulled this out of his pocket. It's a light bulb. And it's important to remember how we got here. And we got here over this, a light bulb. A man lost his life after his vehicle was stopped for a tail light. And what we've got to do, uh, yes, this is a sense of justice here, but uh, the fight for justice can't stop here. Uh, and we all owe it to ourselves and those around us to continue to fight to make the system better. What Michael Slager did is he damaged this community, he damaged law enforcement, he damaged family lives, but he set us back. His actions set us back even further. And we've got to fix that. It's on government to step in and make sure that law enforcement officers are trained appropriately. It's on government to make sure that they step in and they fund local departments so they have the resources that they need, so that these officers are paid what they need. It's on us to hold government accountable get out and vote. Make sure you have people in place who don't want, they don't want another Walter Scott. They don't want to see another mother have to stand up in front of the world right, and lead them by faith. They don't want to see another brother have to stand up and talk about how night after night after night he receives his brother getting shot in the back. And they don't want another officer's family, another one-year-old, to realize that for 20 years, he's going to have to see his father behind a piece of glass. So yes, this is a good day, but this is only the beginning. 